When you look at a film or a video and you think, wow, it's great, it looks like a cinematographic production. So the first thing that pops in your mind is which camera has been used, or which lens, or which loot, and of course, which editing software. So this means that there's a lot of work to get a result like that. But really, recently I found out the answer. A plugin for video editing software, as well as for image editing software. By the way, if you are interested about the answer for Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, uh, you can check out my last video clicking the link above. Anyway, let's crack on! Pro is a full feature plugin which in some cases may be used as a single and complete tool for color grading. As far as new features are constantly appearing, this plugin often allows to eliminate redundant effect nodes and make basic processing within the single uh, the answer node. While using additional nodes, it's recommended to place them in, the specific, in a specific order. This helps avoiding unnecessary or improper color transformations and achieving maximum image quality, as well as maintaining a flexible and versatile, versatile pipeline. But before going on, I'd like to tell you something about the answer. The first come out of the answer was in 2020, and it was quite poor as features. I mean, it had only uh, a few features, but during the year they made an excellent work adding more features day by day, until now with the professional version of the answer. The answer OFX video plugin exists for DaVinci Resolve, Adobe FX, uh, After Effects and Premiere as well, and Final Cut Pro, so the most used video editing software in the market. Now with the answer 6.3.0 version, we've got tools and, more sta and a more stable version of this fantastic plugin that promise to give a more cinematic and nostalgic atmosphere to our videos, like they were recorded with, uh, with films. There's a thing to pay attention, using the answer will not magically transform your ugly video, like mine, in a Hollywood film. So there's a lot to study and try, uh, and try before getting a decent, uh, decent result, but as I always say, never give up. The answer of X plugin node should always be placed at the end of the processing chain. So basically, you should work with a normal node of DaVinci Resolve as a first step. Then you can add a the answer node. Last but not least, it's better to start grading with the answer configuration, then other additional color correction nodes, white balance, uh, color wheels, curves, etc. And the local max could be added and they should be located before the answer nodes. The answer team recommend the following node, uh, node sequence. One, noise reduction, if needed. It's typically the first node, although this is not always the absolutely, absolutely best solution in terms of image quality, but practically it's the most convenient one. Actually, in my case, if we, even with image software like Adobe Photoshop, Photoshop is one of the first aspects I correct. So, why not to do even in DaVinci Resolve as well? 2. White balance. If there is white balance correction needed, it should be done at the very beginning, because it's the first and the primary, primary image correction. Hence, what, uh, white balance node should be applied to the untouched footage, if possible to the source raw file using camera raw white balance setting. And in this case, I am super agree with that, because the white balance is the real first setting I do and because I don't want to have color casting in my image or videos. 3. Contrast. The third processing stage is contrast. Contrast uh, setup along with all correction uh, related to exposure, brightness and contrast of the entire image. It could be color wheels, uh, curves, shadows, highlights, etc. 4. Mask. After the entire image is basically corrected, some local adjustment usually follows. A serial or parallel node is acceptable. If both color and contrast require treatment, contrast should be corrected first, because color per uh, perception strictly depends on luminance. 5. Color space transform. If color sp uh, space transform, CST or LUT, 
node is used for clip interpretation instead of, uh, of input camera profile in the answer, this node should be located before the plugin so it gets the correct input. 6. The answer OFX. This is the main look node where grading begins with the answer settings. The answer research is generally based upon analog processes. Therefore, all tools inside the plugin are grouped and ordered to mimic the film photography pipeline. After the conditions are specified, the film is selected. Processing and printing follows. 7. Sharpen. Final touch-up effects and correction. For example, sharpening may be used after the answer node. Consider, however, that could be changed the appearance of some uh, the answer effects like grain, elation, etc. As you can see, there are many aspects to take in consideration to get a good result, and it might be possible to reiterate many times before getting the best solution. Actually, in my small experience, just with only a node, I mean that the answer OFX node, it's quite enough to set many aspect list before. But now, a real example. I've created a new small project within DaVinci Resolve. In color mode, I've added a new node after the main one, and look at this. There are plenty of sub-panels, we're setting everything. It's really amazing. Well, and now we can try some options. Here we go, here we go with this try of the answer pro OFX 6.3.0. As you can see, this is the first the first try of the uh, of the plugin. Pressing this button you can see before and after. Sorry after and <laughs> before anyway i was saying the plugin is full of options uh, from the source you can uh, select the the source of your uh, of your video in my case i am gonna choose uh, the camera with the uh, I've used for recording this video. And I don't know why I can't select. Okay. We'll try again. Nothing. Okay, maybe there is some issue with the. Okay, 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 okay. I had to, to download uh, and to activate the plugin uh, because now is downloading uh, uh, old media, old films uh, simulation in the, in the computer. So I think I'm gonna have uh, the cameras, uh, camera list as well. Okay, let's try again. Yes, here we go. I've used Sony camera, of course. Let's see if there is my specific. Okay, very isn't because I've used the Alpha 9, but it's pretty similar to the uh, Alpha 7 uh, R Mark III in terms of uh, recording video and it should be in S-Log too. So now I can uh, directly uh, from this, uh, uh, only this node, I can change every single aspect of this clip. Like the exposure compensation, the temperature, maybe more warm, the composition, the fringe, if there is, the radius, and over here from this uh, list, I can select which. Um, Film, uh, film to use 
Lady Agatha, Ambrotype, Sinistil, Fuji, Fuji Chrome. Oh, nice. Oh, with uh, a warm tone. Really interesting. Yes. And over here I can change other parameters of uh, uh, the film developer. Like the contrast boost. If you, I want to enhance to improve the general contrast of the, of the clip of the image. The gamma correction if it's needed. The core separation, core boost if I want to give a more uh, more um, contrast, more saturation and so on. As you can see there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, settings. The film grain if you want for example to uh, to have a bigger grain in your footage. Okay. Uh, looking uh, Watching the clip at the 100%, you can better evaluate the grain dimension. So smaller. And bigger. So with a lot of grain. from before okay and now I'm gonna export the first version with okay the answer You know, I'm a nature photographer, and this plugin isn't specifically made for that purpose. But believe me, it's incredible how good it is, and even for nature videos, it's suitable, at least to give a special mood to your footage. The only bad thing of this plugin, like many others, uh, regards, uh, regards computer resources needed. I mean, how powerful is your computer? Uh, mostly about the video card that should uh, be quite powerful and with at least 8 GB of memory. Sometimes a, a configuration like that is not enough, but DaVinci Resolve uh, can be still used if well configured. Like in another video, uh, for all my subscribers, there's a 10% discount using my promo code uh, GGDISC10, where you will be able to buy, to buy this magic piece of software paying less. Ok, let me know what you think about it writing in the comment section below and if you like this video please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe the channel and announce the notification bell in order to not lose all my new videos thanks for watching see you next time bye bye